welcome to Artistic Truth Radio. I'm your host, Nicole Allwood of Artistic Truth. We are a Christian creative hub here to help you see yourself the way Jesus sees you so you can use and share artistic gifts and talents to glorify God the way he's calling you to, okay? And today is an episode of Music Moments. Every Monday, we give you a look into different songs by taking a moment to amplify fellow Christian artists who use and share their musical talents to glorify God. And this is actually an episode dedicated to our Die to Self playlist. And let's look up, there are a few actually, there are a few, quite a few scriptures that mention dying to self. So I'm going to give you an example and just let you, just you know, just let you understand what dying to self means. So this is Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who is, of course, Jesus Christ, who loved me and gave himself for me. So dying to self is laying down your flesh and picking up your cross to, 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 to follow God. And that is also a paraphrase version of Luke chapter 9 verse 23 which is as he said to all if anyone who come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me so we still have the flesh within us right so you have your fleshly desires and things like that but flesh is it has a sinful nature and that died on the cross with Jesus when you uh, give your life to Christ you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior you recognize Jesus as your Lord Lord and Savior you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord uh, and Savior of your life so this playlist is what the Holy Spirit told me almost a month ago to create and it was originally I titled it in my notes as dying to self because you do it every single day and because again there's a sinful nature within us right so you you choose Christ every day actively and so these songs uh were songs that I listened to prayed over and as I do with every song on our playlist use your discernment I use mine to curate these playlists until we have a curator in Jesus name I'm claiming and that we will you want to give me a lovely idea about our guests and, and and ideas like that but you'll see it when it's time in jesus name so these songs that i've chosen to highlight today that are from our die to self playlist just just speak on their experiences when they are you know trying to follow god but, but at the same time sometimes you fall short of the glory of god as we will and we're just like, no, I want to do better. I want to live for you. And that needs to, to show up in different ways, like my actions, the company I keep, um, what I choose to do, like the choices I make every single day. And uh, here's another scripture. This is, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. And that is Philippians chapter 1, verse 21. And that was also heard in the first song we're going to spotlight today which is Liddy Committee by UK's own Canola. He is the leading pioneering artist for UK Christian Drill and I'm so grateful to God for blessing us with the platform, the just oh man the way the lord works is just so oh my god god is so intentional and I don't use oh my god off at all really but because I do not like to use the Lord's name in vain, but my God, my God, he is so intentional. I used to want a radio show, and now the Lord is making that happen, and that is because I had to die to self, die to pride, die to insecurity, die to doubt, and all those things, and follow Christ truly, and believe what he says about me, which is what we pray and aim and empower you all to do, is believe who God says you are. Help you see yourself through the lens of Christ so you can believe that you're the artist that God has called you to be to glorify him by using and sharing your artistic gifts and talents without apology, insecurity, or insult, which is why we don't have vowels in the word artistic. Um, and so with that being said, Canola is also known as Mr. Xing Shao. You'll hear his tag throughout his songs. And uh, he is about 22 years young. And I am going to play Liddy Committee. Yeah. It's 
got level good, ready for war and well equipped. Yeah. Got the power of truth on him, yeah. and his double sword is quick. Don't yeah. also want to take that risk, and I won't get burnt no candlestick. Yeah. I'm saved by grace, yeah. baptized and saved, face the world and I hide my face. The shadow of God's my hiding place. Hide place. Fly away, jump is blow my fly away. Move, right, I'll get left behind. Better get saved, that's right away. Right Over here is lit. I ain't gotta worry about death, man, cause my cares on God, so I ain't gotta worry about stress. No. It might come, but time will pass, so I already know I'm blessed. Yeah. The work got finished, on the cross my Savior bled. He done saved me from myself, so me not worry when I rest my head. No. Alive or dead, I'm with the Lord, that's what he said. Yeah. You will never leave, no forsake, me and my friends. No. And to die is gain, no stress or pain when I reach my best. So I praise and worship, dancing, spinning, smiling, grilling, songs of ringing. Yeah. That was Liddy Committee by Canola. Tell me that didn't just set you on a fire for God. Like, it's so just honest and raw and the it's something about uk drill and drill in general but christian drill of course that's just like yes lord yes it, it's so helpful to hear the testimony of our brothers and sisters and we're supposed to share our testimonies it's in the word and you, you just know that you're, you, you know you're not alone but when you hear other people speak their struggles share their testimony share their stories you're like okay now I hear for myself okay now I hear for myself that I'm not alone in this and chapter 1 verse 21 and then he also mentioned um I know that this may lead to my own killing but Lord I'm willing and it's like yes maybe he maybe he meant like literally but I also think he means spiritually and I would love to ask you personally Canola this is a, a formal informal invitation to the show I would love to sit down with you and chat on artistic truth radio um we also have another one of his songs lukewarm which is right after this song but it's not what we're going to play but i highly recommend you of course check out our playlist of course check out every artist that we mentioned show them love amplify their voice share them out to others and stay encouraged you know our fellow artistic saints i want y'all to stay encouraged to use and share your artistic gifts and talents to glorify god and we will get on to the next song this next song that we're going to play is by artists reaching christ and i hadn't noticed their name before necessarily um, because they're already on the playlist so i just clicked the song but today i looked at the name and i was like wow that reminds me of artistic truth and looking into them a little bit i see that they have a platform that amplifies christian artists like christian music artists which reminds me of course of artistic truth and so i'm super excited to amplify another group of christian creatives who are amplifying fellow christian creatives and music artists so i'm super excited this song features members of artists reaching christ who are young c and california's own uninvited and I love that he also doesn't have a few vowels in Uninvited because if you already don't know, Artistic doesn't have the vowels because we do things without apology, insecurity, and insult, which is why we don't have the A, the I, and the I. So I really like this. And this song is called Throw It Up. I was lukewarm, had a 
Revelations chapter 3 verse 16 it reads so because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold I'm going to vomit you out of my mouth the Lord wants us to choose okay because you can't serve two masters that's also in the word I was lukewarm I had to warm it up as well honestly the more the Lord opened up my eyes I didn't realize how lost I was I really didn't I was always talking about Jesus I pray my friends knew about it, but then I was over here popping this and, and smoking that and, and sipping on this. Like, it was just, it's looking real lost. It was looking real lost. Like, well, I'm Aquarius to the core. No, I'm a child of God to the core. And so the Lord made it clear I had to warm it up. He was like, you, you have to choose. And so as I was approaching 30 is what I just, like, I just felt like it was the end of an era. And I had said it out loud. I was like, I feel like to myself in my room. I, like, I feel like it's the end, of, end of an era, and it was. It was the end of my old lukewarm ways, like, and I'm so grateful God shine me up, pick me up, dust me off, and shine me up. So all glory be to God for sure, and thank you so much for amplifying the fellow music artist's voice on artists reaching Christ. I got to look more into y'all. I need to I need to show y'all some, some more love on social, so I'm going to give y'all a follow when I wrap up with this because I, I genuinely had no idea. And let's go on to the next artist and the next song. Okay, so this next song is by an artist we just mentioned and the song before, and that's Uninvited. His name is Aldre. He is a Southern California artist. As I mentioned before, he is a part of the platform Artist Reaching Christ. And this song, oh my goodness, yes. Like, wow. I'm going to explain after the song what part specifically I, when I heard it, I was like, this is going on the Die to Self playlist because I know this feeling and it's like, Lord, I repent. I rebuke this. Like, Please forgive me, Lord. Holy Spirit, are you there? Like, are you upset with me? I, like, I want to be better. I want to do better. I know what you told me. Can you confirm it again, yet again? Like, you're not the author of confusion. You're not a God of confusion. But Lord, like, what is going on? I know feelings are fleeting, but I feel like you're not here with me. Did I, like, did I take you for granted? You know what I mean? And I don't ever want to take the Lord for granted. I don't want to ever blaspheme the Lord, the Holy Spirit, or anything. I want to be exactly who Jesus has called me and created me to be as we are empowering you to by seeing yourself the way Jesus sees you so you can live your artistic truth in Christ. Use and share your artistic gifts and talents to glorify him without apology, insecurity, or insult, as I mentioned before. So this, let me stop speaking and get straight to the song. It's something about R&B. It's something about Christian R&B, Christian music, um, which, of course, we are a Christian creative hub and brand. So that is all we are playing. That is all we listen to. And this song is Strawberry Worship by Uninvited and Saints. So let's get into it. God, you call me by my name. The love you give me, I just can't deny. Yeah. No longer blinded, I can see you. I'm on my way to meet you. Tries and tribulations got me tired, I need rest. And I heard that I can't come to you when weary of my flesh. You awaken me from death. 
but I need you. I'm not walking by the flesh, that's when I leave you. If I told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, know that I'm someone, no, I'm a child of God. I wanna go to God way. Close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I wanna go to God way. Close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I know you know me well. I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here. I can't for plans with you to be with sin and break your heart. Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are. I wonder if you leave for me. God, just tell me what you need from me. Is the Holy Spirit still in me? God, I'm asking you for clarity. Even though you told me already. God told me I'm someone. Did y'all hear that? Did you hear what he said? Let me read it for you, okay? This is verse two. He said, let me get into the part where I was like, this, this is going to die itself for this, for sure. I cancel plans with you to meet with sin and break your heart. Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are. I wonder if you'll leave for me. God, just tell me what you need from me. Is the Holy Spirit still in me? God, I'm asking you for clarity, even though you told me already. And like I said, I've been there. I've been there, and I, I, I believe y'all have too. Let me know on Instagram at Artistic Truth Radio, R-T-S-T-C-T-R-U-T-H-R-A-D-I-O. We are family here. We are community. Artistic Saints, let me know. Keep it real. Keep it honest. Speak your truth, okay? Let me know. Have you been here? Are you here in this moment now, in this season, where you are struggling with dying to self you're giving into fleshly temptation like let me know what's going on like you know you know better but you're struggling to do better god is with you always so continue to seek him continue to seek him because he will never leave you nor forsake you he says that that's his word jesus is the truth the way and the life okay god does not lie okay Again, Jesus is the truth, the truth. He said he will never leave you nor forsake you. So there have definitely been times where I'm like, Lord, can you can you repeat what you said? Like, are you sure this is of you? It's, especially with artistic truth and the trials that we've gone through. Did I potentially make this journey a bit more difficult and stressful than it needed to be because of insecurity, pride, doubt, all those things? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me say a lot. Yes, unfortunately, unfortunately. But also, I was relying heavily on my own understanding of things. And like, let me know on Instagram if I if it's just us. I don't think so. If we, be, if we being honest with ourselves, we speaking if we speaking our truth here. Um, it's like I submit, Lord. I submit again. God forgive me. I repent. And I don't ever want to take the Lord's grace and mercy for granted. You know. Um, and then with that, that's period. And with that, I'll say period as in like not the phrase but like period period no comma like period let me next on to the next sentence i will say when i fully like submitted to the lord and i don't even think that's all i want to say it's like when the lord opened up my eyes this season and was like you know you need to work on forgiveness things i didn't even realize i was things i didn't realize was in my heart okay um, because I say often, like, seek, seek my, you know, search my heart, oh Lord, remove the stone for the flesh, and he, the Lord will do it. What do you mean? He will do it. And, and sometimes it's ugly because, you, you know, he pulls out everything. Like, it may not be may not be all at once, but sometimes the things you're like, wait, hold on, that's me? You, you talking to me? You talking to me? Like, me? Who, me? I have pride? I thought it was insecurity. And those two look very similar. There's a thin line between pride and insecurity. But the Holy Spirit spoke that to me earlier in this season um this season has been a long season so pardon me if your season and my season are two different timelines okay but this has been a long season and uh, i am going to do an episode of pride and security as i've mentioned in our uh our first episode of lessons are blessings thank you so much for strawberry worship thank you so much for this song because like I mentioned, if you relate to it, Uninvited, Aldre, if you wrote this, you and Saint wrote this, and this is how y'all feel, and I'm I'm like, I know I've been in this, you know, I've, I've experienced this myself. I know many of the artistic saints have, if not all, have or 
will at some point. So thank you so much for putting those emotions, those feelings, those experiences in song. I really appreciate all of the artists who have and will. And I pray that a few of the artistic saints will as well. And let's get into the last song. If you don't know Music Moments, I will typically do about three to five songs, at least for now, where we spotlight and highlight take a moment to spotlight and highlight these fellow christian artists so today is the first episode and this is this next song is by i believe layla could be lila sorry if i got that wrong um and i'm super excited about this as well another r&b decided to go go from like drill to like rap and then ease on to r&b and so this song is called nothing else matters and i just love the way i feel after listening to the song and it's very soothing very comforting very much like jesus you are my security blanket you are my protector you're my refuge you are my safety it's just my 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 Lord, my Savior, my best friend, I just feel so comforted when I'm in your presence, which is obviously like so true, which is how I feel. So this song is very accurate and this is this is this song depicts that for me, if I'm being honest. So this is by Layla. As I mentioned, she has over four thousand monthly listeners. And uh let's get into it. Are you enjoying this episode of Music Moments, our first episode? Let me know on our Instagram at Artistic Truth Radio, R-T-S-T-C-T-R-U-T-H-R-A-D-I-O. Let me know what you want to hear in future episodes. This episode of Music Moments is shining a spotlight on the artist's that are on our Dot Is Self playlist, which dropped today, July 25th. If you're listening to it afterward, please give it a a listen. Check it out. Listen to the artists. Support them. Show them love across their socials, across, of course, their, their music. Please purchase if and when you can. And this last song is, or this last song of today's episode is very important. It reminds us of the already well-known scripture if you don't know i'm going to say it for you it is james chapter 2 verse 26 which reads for just as the body without the spirit is dead so also faith without works is dead we need to put action with our faith we need to combine our faith and our action this is a this is a journey of faith when we're walking with christ and we need to put actions into it and also reminds me of the scripture james chapter 1 verse 22 which is be doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving yourself. So let's get into it. This song is by a couple artists. This is featuring uh, Tim Smart UK, who used to be known as First Timothy or One Timothy. I believe it would be First Timothy. That makes a lot more sense. Um, now this is Tim Smart UK. He's a UK artist along with Aaliyah Lara. I hope I said your name correctly. Um, please forgive me if I did not, girl. She is also a UK artist. She is from London. And I'm going to read a little bit about her here. You can find this info on Spotify. She says, uh, or it is written here, that with her music being a genius concoction of biblical scripture wrapped in an old meets new school R&B, indulging London songstress Aaliyah Lara's ethereal world. And you'll hear a little bit of that ethereal um, esque part in the beginning of the song, uh, and she reflects Christianity as a millennial and what it's like to pursue her journey with God, both trying to live and encourage a holy lifestyle in the 21st century, and we relate. So that is really awesome. She has over 29.3k listeners according to Spotify, and the other artist that the other artist that is on this song is Jaden Dominique. I just like to say I like the way he spells his name. And let me read his bio because when I read his bio, I was like, yes. Yes, that is how I feel. On yes, let me let me let me put y'all onto this. And this information is sourced from Spotify as well. So he says, I've always known about God. However, I mixed with a lot of bad minds over the last few years. I didn't understand why everything was becoming such a weight on my shoulders and why things weren't working out for me. So I removed all of my songs off Spotify as they were written in a bad place and had negative energy attached to them. In parentheses. 
my past negative energy in parentheses and i promise myself and to god that i will only sing songs that praise him come on yes lord and keep him at the center of everything people that knew me here we go listen to this people that knew me and don't know that i am now in christ don't know me anymore they can only speak about how i was then and really enough i'm content with that because even i don't know the person that person anymore god changed me i will never sit here and say i'm perfect because i'm not but i'm learning every day and i think that's what counts the most i'm trying let's i don't have a soundboard yet but let's give a hand clap let's give a hand clap to Jaden because yes 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 i i want to do an episode about this and i mean i'll do a part two to the love episode or maybe i'll add it i don't know yet but that episode is coming out um an episode about love and i can speak to it yeah that might be multiple parts because i've always known god i've always had a relationship with jesus christ and i always used to say it's relationship over religion and i just i just knew that at a young age and that was most likely the holy spirit right and i thought i loved jesus but i didn't love him enough i, I didn't love him because if i loved him i wouldn't have been doing the things i chose to do right i wouldn't have been popping molly it wouldn't have been smoking and drinking drinking till you're drunk that's a sin okay and um smoking weed by just just like now weed that's a whole private con that's a whole different conversation because it does have medicinal properties but that's not what i'm talking about here okay that's not what i'm talking about here and again it's about knowing better not doing better right so we need to know we know better we need to do better Hits our dot itself playlist, okay? Dot to the fleshly ways within us and allow the Lord, the Lord to be increased while we are, de our fleshly ways are decreased, you know? Carry our cross. And so with all that said, let's get into the song, our last song of the episode for Music Moments. And we are highlighting, amplifying the artists on our dot to self playlist, like I said, which is out today, July 25th, Monday, July 25th. And this song we are concluding with is called it's not what I say, it's what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Without faith, it's impossible to please him, but faith without works is dead. So teach me to love like you do, teach me I trust in you to help me to see like you do. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I love you. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I love you. Ooh, show you through my actions. Oh, I'm gonna have to show you through my actions.
like I said, you know, the Lord calls us to be obedient. And of course, we walk by faith, not by sight. And this is a, a journey of faith when you're walking with Christ. As I mentioned, this is not a works-based relationship, right? Like, you don't have to do anything to, like, earn your salvation. Like, you can't earn it. Like, you can't do so many works where, like, finally... I've attained my salvation, right? When you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior because it's by God's grace through faith in Jesus Christ, right? Um, but because we love him and when you become more intimate with Christ, you grow in your intimacy with Christ, you just want to do all that he's called you to do. You want to be all God's called you to be. You you just, when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, it's like you crave God's will and God's way. And one of my prayers is like, Lord, please help me see myself the way you see me. You'll hear it in, in one of the episodes coming out very soon, coming out this week. Uh, you know, I badged <laughs> recorded episode. So I want to say it's a lessons, uh, lessons or blessings episode. But it's coming up. It's coming up. You'll hear it. I'll share part of it. This is my personal prayer. And so it's basically like, Lord, please help me see myself the way you see me. Help me see others the way you see them. Help me. Okay, it's in the love episode. Um, it, it is. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Help me love myself the way you love me. Help me love others the way you love them. Definitely was inspired by the the two greatest commands, to love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and then to love thy neighbor as you love yourself. But, like, how can you love others if you don't really love yourself? And you learn how to love through your relationship with Christ and as you grow more intimately with Christ. I believe that the more intimate you are with Christ, the more you learn to accept and receive love, thus you can better exude and be loved. Of course, God is God is within us. His, his spirit is within us. His power is within us. So it's like just I feel like the closer we are with Christ, the more we can we learn to accept love. We learn to receive love from God through Christ. And thus we can better express love and exude it, you know, and be the love and the light in the world that we are called to be as followers and believers in Christ. So I say all that to say to this is the end of the episode. I pray that y'all were served well. I pray that this ministered to you well, according to God's will and way. And just encourage you all to listen to these amazing artists. I know for some you know, you, you may struggle with listening to secular music and that was something that I struggled with and I just, it was definitely the Holy Spirit. I, I would just start deleting songs and this was what, this was before I was turning 30. But I had so many songs on Apple Music at the time when I had an Apple Music account that it was like, dang, <laughs> like, dang, practically every song, you know? And so I, I just want to use, I'm grateful that God's allowing me to use this platform and artistic truth allowing artistic truth to create this platform in which or a, a portion of our platform uh, in artistic truth radio with artistic truth radio to help you be inspired and empowered to be who God is calling you to be see yourself the way Jesus sees you so that you see yourself the way Jesus sees you so that you can use and share artistic gifts and talents and one way is getting rid of that secular music listen to music that's still fun still you know, allows you to jam, but has the, the message, like the fundamental message is rooted in Christ. Seek, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and everything else shall be added unto you. And that is Matthew 6 verse 33 and Lord, that is my life scripture. So I pray that we are just an additional resource to your walk with Christ. God is your source, your only source. Do not ever serve two masters. Or if you currently are, the word says you cannot serve two masters, okay? Because you will love one, hate the other, basically follow one and despise the other. And I, okay, the Lord told me I was serving two masters. He was not even looking at it that way, but like, how could I not? You know what I'm saying? I was ignoring what was clearly there. And so I'm grateful that God is, is like I said, pick me up, dusting me off and, and shine me, cleanse me. And, and I fully love Jesus. Like, I fully am seeking Jesus. I choose Jesus every day. I die to myself every single day. And I pray that y'all enjoy this playlist, Die to Self. I love y'all. Please stay connected on Instagram at Artistic Truth Radio. You can also follow our main Creative Hubs page, which is at Artistic Truth. I'm Nicole, and I'll speak to you later. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Stay artistic. Take care. Love ya. <laughs>